Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on developing research and referencing skills. Today, we will search for resources and refine the results using library search and a specialized database called CINAHL. We will critically appraise a resource using the CRAP model, and we will create a reference and an in-text citation for a resource. Today's topic. Let's use an example. Suppose that you are researching the question, what are the most effective strategies nurses use for time management? To run an effective search on this topic, we should first select the key terms from the research question we've identified. In this case, two key terms are time management and nurses. Rather than searching the entire research question, We'll use these key terms to narrow in to articles and other resources that are of relevance to this topic. Please try this following activity, keywords and synonyms. Brainstorm some synonyms or related terms for time management. Keywords and synonyms. Let's learn a bit more. Our keywords don't always give us the results we want, so what other words could we use to describe our topics? One tip is to search Google for synonyms for your keywords, or brainstorm other similar terms that you could search. Now that we've done some of our own brainstorming, let's review some keyword synonyms and related terms to the terms that are a part of our research question. Time management. Related terms and synonyms include prioritization, scheduling, time blocking, and daily plan. For the key term nurses, we can come up with some similar words like nursing, nursing practice, nursing care, and practical nurses. Now that we've developed a set of keywords, related terms, and synonyms, we can use these terms to run several searches and find the most applicable results within the library's research databases. We'll start with what we call our library search, found on the library's homepage. Here we have the library's homepage. You can see library search shows up right here in the middle of the page. To start out, try something simple like time management and nurses. Then click search. Also note you can skip directly ahead to our advanced search, which we'll explore more in a moment. You'll see search results that look something like this page. Note that although you're seeing the results, you'll not be able to click into any of these articles or other resources until you have clicked sign in for full access to your library resources. This redirects you to our login page. Enter your student or staff ID number and PIN number and click sign in. Here we are back at the same results page, but now we've signed in and can view any of the articles that seem of interest to us.